What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Daily Divers here with another episode of Dumpster Diving. Guys, I'm over here at Alta. This is my fourth stop for tonight. We're not having any luck at all, at least not so far yet. I still have a few more places to go to, so hopefully we'll find something. I haven't been to Bed Bath & Beyond yet either, where we hit a huge jackpot last night. If you missed that video, go check that out. I'll leave a link in the description as usual. But anyway, I'm over here at Alta, and I'm starting the intro off here just for a particular reason. Obviously, I think you could probably guess. Look at this freaking disaster. This makes me so angry, guys. So this is the biggest reason Honestly, why Alta destroys their makeup? Look at this freaking mess. All this is thrown all over the place from a dumpster diver, possibly, probably even multiple dumpster divers. What happens is, is the dumpster divers come through here, and granted, the dumpster is completely packed full. So what happens is the Alta employees come out the back door, and obviously they have to throw stuff out. But when it's really full like this, I mean, even when it's not full, but when it's really full like that, they'll leave the boxes, the employees will, they'll stack them real nicely around here. I mean, it doesn't always look like this, believe me, it doesn't always look like this, but there's a lot of times it does. But they'll leave the boxes around the dumpster when it's really full and the dumpster divers come through here the really crappy ones hopefully not none of you guys but they'll come through here and they'll search through all the boxes they'll tear them apart and they will throw stuff everywhere I'm all for go dumpster diving find makeup I do the same thing what's it's awesome it's awesome but this ruins it for everybody when crappy people come through here and they just tear stuff and throw stuff all over the freaking place so what I'm trying to get to is this is the biggest reason why Alta destroys all their makeup because you make it completely obvious that you're there that you've been there searching through their trash looking for awesome stuff which is always a good thing but you got to make it like not obvious this is like the craziest thing I've ever seen this is the worst I've ever seen it too by the way so I just wanted to share this with you if you guys agree with me drop a comment down below if you dumpster dive at Alta if you've ever seen anything like this I'm sure you have I'm definitely sure you have because I've been to plenty of other Altas never seen it this bad but this this is really really bad tonight so drop a comment if you agree with me this is the biggest reason why they destroy their makeup it's completely obvious that you're there but anyway I just wanted to share that with you and if you guys have never been dumpster diving and anywhere in general and you're thinking about going please don't be this person and there's a ambulance in the background don't do this this is really really aggravating and this ruins it for everybody so sorry for that rant I just wanted to start the episode off here and share this crazy crazy mess with you but I'm still gonna check over all this stuff I'm gonna hopefully I'll straighten up I'll just a little bit I'm not gonna clean the whole thing up but um I'll straighten up just a little bit but maybe we'll find something I mean it looks like obviously somebody's already rummaged through everything but I'm gonna check anyway maybe we'll find something here like I said we still got a few more spots to go check as well so if you are new here smash that subscribe button and join the dumpster squad and stay all the way to the end of this episode where we'll be going over everything that we find and I will see you guys in a few minutes right back at the house
so we are back at the house. We just have a few items from Bed Bath Beyond in that bag and also this thing right here. And then we also have a couple things over there in that box from Ulta. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So starting off in this box right here, we have the stuff from Ulta. First off, we have like this little kind of like travel tote thing. It is from Gigi and it says Gigi Spa or something like that, I don't know. But um, anyways, this has like a, kind of like a plastic and like a mesh material. So you can just store some stuff in it. It has like a couple little scrapes in it and like a little cut, but it's okay. And then in here we have all the makeup products and also one hair product. The one hair product is this Redken texturizing paste. So it's like, I guess like to style your hair, I don't know. But anyways, we got some makeup in here. First off, we have a CoverGirl and Olay kind of like foundation, Simply Ages foundation. Then we have this Smashbox, like little blush set. It's called LA Lights Blush and Highlight pa Palette. Let me go ahead and open this up. So it's pretty full. As you guys can see, it's like a light, uh, light pink, a medium shade pink. And this highlighter is actually a very, very, very light shade of pink. So it's super pretty. We also have a little primer. It's a photo op under eye brightener kind of primer thing. And we have a Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal Paris. A Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. This is a Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Primer. It's basically almost empty, but there is a little bit of product left. Here is another Smashbox. This is a Always Sharp Waterproof Eyeliner. A Tarte Tardius Lip Paint. And as you guys see, everything basically, once again, is just all testers. And then these are all the same. It's just a ton of these Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream Eyes. So it's like a, I guess like a, kind of like a concealer, I would say. But there's just a whole bunch of different shades in here. So they're definitely, as it, what it looks like lately, all the Ulta products that we are finding is that they're replacing everything basically as their tester products and probably just getting a whole new set or there's just new makeup coming out. But that's pretty much everything from Ulta. Moving on to Bed Bath Beyond. First we have this Bosch coffee maker. It is missing like the little cover for the drip tray. It's actually pretty cute. It's so tiny. Look how tiny this is. This will be like perfect for someone that just moved out, maybe has an apartment, so it doesn't take up much counter space. And this is the water tank right here. It's super cute, so little. And then moving on to this bag, first off, we have a ton of envelopes right here. And as you guys know, we always find so many seasonal cards or birthday cards, any type of cards for any occasion. And most of the time they don't have envelopes. So I like when we find envelopes because I could try to match them and see if they do fit in there. We have this little suction mount bathroom organizer, I would say. It's missing one of the suction pieces. For here we have a 36 count Margaritaville coffee Calypso coconut. Huh, that's actually pretty neat. Never knew they made coconut flavored coffee. We have a full size wax warmer. It was $19.99 and I love how it is. It's kind of like that glass mosaic tile type. You guys can see in the picture right there. And then the last few things that we found from Bed Bath Beyond, as you guys can see, is we found a good amount of these little battery operated candlesticks. And if you can see like the flame part moves, so it makes it look realistic. So these are cute. This one's actually missing the bottom piece. Let's see. Here's one out of the packaging. Found a total of maybe seven of these. So here's two more. So that's four. Oh no, we found eight. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Some small stuff, nothing too big this time. But that's gonna conclude this night's episode. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the Dumpster Squad. And please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and tune in tomorrow night for another episode. Mm -hmm.